Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 9, Volume and Surface Area, Lesson 3, Volume of Spheres. True or false, the volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder with the same radius r and height of 2r. If you'd like to find out the answer to this question, please follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. A sphere is a set of all points in space that are a given distance, the radius, from a given point called the center. So as you can see in the diagram, the center is in the center of the sphere, and the radius goes from the center to a point on the sphere. A sphere split in half forms two congruent shapes called a hemisphere. The face formed by the slice is a circle. The volume V of a sphere is four-thirds the product of pi and the cube of the radius r. So our formula is V equals four-thirds pi r cubed. What is the formula for the volume of the solid pictured below? The solid below is a cube. We know that because all sides are the same measurement. Four centimeters by four centimeters by four centimeters. The volume of a cube is represented with the formula V equals S to the third. Choose the correct formula to find the volume of the sphere pictured below. So the volume of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. We can see in the diagram that the radius is 2, so substituting a 2 in for the radius in the formula we will get v equals 4 thirds pi times 2 to the third. Find the volume of the sphere below. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So again, the volume of a sphere is v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. In the diagram, we can see that the radius is 6. Substitute a 6 in for r in the formula, and we'll get v equals 4 thirds pi times 6 to the third. Simplifying, we get v equals 4 thirds pi times 216, or v equals 288 pi. Multiplying 288 by pi and rounding to the nearest tenth, we get the volume is approximately 904.8 millimeters cubed. Find the volume of the hemisphere below. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. The volume of a hemisphere is half the volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. If the radius is 5, as we can see in the diagram, then the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds times pi times 5 to the third, which simplifies to V equals 4 thirds pi times 125. Simplifying further, we get v equals 500 over 3 pi. Now we need to find the volume of the hemisphere, which is half of the sphere. So if I take the volume of the sphere that we found and multiply it by 1 half, that will give me the volume of the hemisphere. So 1 half times 500 over 3 times pi. This simplifies to 500 over 6 times pi which is approximately 261.8 centimeters cubed. Now back to our true and false question. The volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder with the same radius r and height of 2r. This is a true statement. Now let's look at why. The volume of a cylinder is 2 pi r to the third and the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r to the third. So if I take 2 thirds times 2 pi times r to the third, that will give me 4 thirds pi r to the third, making it a true statement. So remember, a sphere is a set of all points in space that are a given distance, the radius, from a given point called the center. 
as we can see in the diagram. A sphere split in half forms two congruent shapes, each called a hemisphere. The face formed by the slice is a circle. If we want to find the volume of a sphere, our formula is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed.